highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. What about the special abilities, especially with the kids you've treated, where yeah. you've got someone out of so-called out of autism, yeah, mm-hmm. or you've just enhanced their actual abilities? Mm-hmm. What are the special abilities you saw? Okay, so there, there are so many of them. I want to talk. So there's this young, you know, little girl from Bangalore, and you know, uh, she she was quite severe. Okay, she didn't have speech. Was not going to a normal school, but. Her mom realized early on that she's a wizard with numbers, okay, special ability with numbers. And uh, then, of course, she took her uh, cell and stem cell therapy. And after taking that, she started improving. And then the mother gave her special coaching in maths, right? Now, this kid is so brilliant, you know, she does engineering level math. She does math that is, she's just seven years old, okay? She will do the tan, cos, all that complicated stuff, and she does it brilliantly. But most important, and you're not going to believe this. You will not believe this till you actually see it, okay? I refu- When the mom told me this is happening, I didn't believe it. It's only when the child was in front of me and I, some 25 times I tested. Uh, you know, this child is the ability. You think of any number. Think. She'll tell you what you thought. <laughs> but this is only for numbers. It's not for colors. I mean, if you say, if you name a color, animal, she won't. But for numbers, she has the ability to read your mind. Now, she has a great ability in math, okay? It's a very, it's a different, it's a, it's a beyond Einsteinian ability for math, you know? Uh, now, you can't explain this. How do you explain uh, a child who can read? You just think of a number, you know? Then I thought maybe I'm thinking, you know, sometimes you wonder whether you, you thought the same. Then the mother, you write it down so that you can cross-check that it was the same. It's the same every time, all right? So this is just one example, okay? There are... Um, we have other examples. I have this child from the Maldives who, uh, again, uh, not able, not going to school, no speech. And this, you know, the he took cell therapy, started improving. And the father noticed that this child is a wizard. You know, he just loves space planets. Okay. He has no normal conversation. He can't do regular stuff. But you talk to him about Mars, Saturn, and something happens to him. Okay. This guy is in his element. And so the father did something interesting. He got an entire library of uh, books on space and started reading with them. And today this child has not only improved completely, okay, uh, he's now in a normal, he's in the second standard. He's not, he was not going to school. Now he's in the second standard and topping the entire class, not just his class, the entire, the whole second standard, all the divisions. He's standing first and is a wizard with numbers. You tell him, you know, 10 raised to 8 and before you can do it on a calculator this guy will have told you they've got amazing they're called savant like mathematical abilities stuff that you can't even imagine then we have dozens and dozens of kids who've got this mind-blowing ability you tell them any date in the future they'll tell you what day it is okay you know you'll say you know uh, 4th july 2050 and in a second they'll tell you it's wednesday or thursday and it's so mind blowing how they do it. Yeah. It is so completely mind blowing how you do it. We had a kid who was from uh, England, and uh, after doing the kid had no speech, zero speech. After doing the cell therapy, the you know the mother they were from a um, Muslim background, and she would give her the Quran uh, on a YouTube channel. This kid came back to us after six months. He could recite, and you're going to believe this: the entire Holy Quran by heart, by heart without looking into it. You know, I mean, you know. And I said, where, where do these kids get it? So it was there inside. I mean, I can go on endlessly. Uh, we have a kid over here uh, who had his amazing ability with chemicals. And his father sort of figured out that he could, and he first gave him a little kit and then he made a workshop. And today this guy has a factory, you know, making 40,000 liter. There's something he does with some ethyl, methyl, something and creates a chemical, which has got commercial value. He's 11 years old. Okay, he's a millionaire. He's running a chemical factory. So I'm just giving you examples. Okay. There are so many such examples of brilliance that you and I, Cannot even imagine. So let's take a small deep dive into yeah. what we've already discussed yeah. on this episode. Yeah. You said that autism is basically the lower yeah. brain being less functional than the higher brain. Yeah. Lower brain is responsible for all your animalistic behaviors, yes. all your instinctual behaviors, yes. Yes. food, sex, yes. anger, yes. sudden Absolutely. emotions. Yes. And upper brain is responsible for creativity, imagination, yeah. thinking, executive function, strategy, yeah, yeah. mathematics. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So all these kids have a very active upper brain. Yes. Uh, and more active than you and me. Okay. Okay. Uh, now through the therapy, what you're doing is you're kind of making the lower brain functioning 
active enough to kind of match up to the upper brain yes. cell. Yeah. That's what the outcome of exactly. stem cell therapy yeah. on autism is. I, I'll, I'll give you, a, I'll just convert this into a simple to understand example. Sure. Let's say you're a great athlete, fantastic athlete. You could win the Olympic gold medal, all right? But you have a fracture of the leg. Hmm. Now, you can't, forget running. You can't even walk. You cannot even stand. So, because a question people will ask is, well, we are saying they have these great abilities. How come we don't see it? My child is not talking. My child is, you know, having behavioral issues. My child can't, my child can't read and write. And you're saying that he's going to become a Elon Musk type or a wizard. That's exactly like a great athlete who can't run because of a fracture. Have you understood? But if I fix the fracture, now I can see the athletic qualities in you. Okay. So now that once we fix the brain earlier, peep, you know, all over the world, you'll be surprised. Nobody had identified the brain damage. We were among the first to publish a paper to show the world. Hey, listen, these parts of the world aren't, aren't working. And we published it as a paper. Now, not only we published which parts are not working, and that's published in the World Journal of Nuclear Medicine, we now have a solution to it. So it's only when you fix it that you can see the special qualities. Okay. You can't see the special qualities. Like I can't see you as a great athlete as long as you have a fracture. Okay. Have you understood that? Yeah, yeah no, no, got yeah. it. Yeah. What will happen? Okay, firstly, I want to just confirm this thought with you. Yeah. Autism is kind of a spectrum, right? Yeah, it's called the autism, it's called the autism spectrum disorder. Yeah. So if you're very high up on the spectrum, you have a severe case of autism. Yes. As is the case with most of the kids yeah. you treated, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. But lower versions of that would be ADHD, which you also see a lot. Yes, yeah. Then, then there's learning disability, then there is, okay. you know, dyslexia. dyslexia. Yeah, exactly. Now you're saying probably Elon Musk was also uh, on this spectrum yeah. on a lower he, he, part of it. He actually says it. He talks about okay. it openly. Yeah. What if we give him the same therapy you're giving the kids? What will happen to his brain? Um so right now it's of course too late, but had we given it when he was young, okay, we might have seen something completely more different there. Okay. Because this works, see the thing about our therapy, okay, that's the other thing we found, that it works best when you give it early. So we found our best results are below five, when you, when you give it below five. The next best results are before puberty. Once puberty kicks in, then we find there is, there's still results, but they are lesser. Okay. So it's called early intervention because the, this is about neuroplasticity that we are talking about. You know, the, the child's brain is more plastic. So, you know, when you give cell therapy, you get better results. As you get older, especially after puberty, because the hormone testosterone comes into play and the, the brain is a little less, uh, you know, manu you, it's difficult to modulate the brain. As in when, uh, when you're a kid, your brain's like clay and it can yes, be shaped exactly, up. Exactly. Yeah. It's called neuroplasticity. That's why that word comes yeah. from clay. And as you grow older, you, your brain becomes more stiff. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you are actually fixing uh, their problems when they are kids, mm -hmm. is their upper brain also benefiting more? Yes. Because of this is the lower brain being stronger. Yeah. No, you are. Uh, okay. It's not benefiting more. You can see the effects of it more. Okay, I mean, the, you know, it's not going to make a Understood. change there. But the stuff that you couldn't see, let's say there's a child, who, a majority of autistic kids with autism can't talk. They can't mm. speak. Mm. You can't see their brilliance. Okay. Ah. If they had a brilliance. Okay? Because they're not able to express, able to what's express happening. it. Now, and that's because we've seen that the speech area on our scans, we've clearly shown that the speech area is not functioning well. Once you can activate that and they start talking, now you can see their brilliance. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm also assuming that going forward, the way science is going, probably in 20 years time, will you be able to do a version of this on normal kids or on adults in general? Okay. What that's if you do it on normal kids now? Okay. Okay. So, you know, that, that's very interesting. So we've actually had parents come to us uh, saying that, you know, my child is 20th in class and I want my child to come first. So will you give our child stem cells? <laughs> we actually had parents come to us. No, we don't because that is not correct. And I think that's not, that's misuse of technology. Just because you want your kid to stand first in class, you should not be giving stem cells. That is why we have criteria. So what we have, our work is governed by what is called an institutional ethics committee. You know, this is, this is a, in, in hospitals, we have, there, there's a process called, it's a, uh, there's a committee of outside doctors, senior, it's got doctors, it's got lawyers, it's got social workers, it's got different people who actually, you know, uh, give you permission to do what you do. It's called oversight. Sure. And this committee is, is registered with the Ministry of Health in Delhi. So it's it's a formal thing. Now, so one of the cri criteria is that we cannot give stem, we do not, we have chosen not to give stem cells to people whose brains are normal. That's why we do the scan called PET-CT scan. Why? 
because this is misuse of technology okay this technology is meant to help somebody whose brain is damaged it's not meant for somebody whose brain is normal and you want to make it better i mean but, but can it yeah it would but it's, <laughs> it's not it's not i don't think that would be that would be misuse of technology <laughs> you'd give rise to super villains exactly yeah we don't want to do that now, now now you're trying to play god and that's not good okay we're here to help people who are you know suffering people with uh, you know limited facility we want to help people in difficult situations but we don't want to play to people's vanity you know you want a child to come first that's not fair you know it's not fair to push your child into because the child may have some other skills okay you you may not stand first in class so you may be 20 but you may be a great artist you may be a great cricketer you may have you you may have some other skills Sachin Tendulkar. Imagine if his father tried to make him a doctor; that would be a disaster, you know. Uh, but his father understood very early: this kid is great with the bat. I, I, I'm not even sure Sachin passed school, or he definitely didn't go to college. But his father identified his skill set, and you know, let him, okay. uh, let him get into that. Theoretically, what would happen if you put stem cells into a normal smart kid? Theoretically, <laughs> what would actually biologically go on in the brain? I don't know. Um, I really don't have the answer. I guess you'd get better. Of course. Now, looking at the way cell therapy works, the cells get attracted to those parts of the brain which are damaged. So, you know, if your brain is completely normal, it may be that the, you know the normal parts of the brain may not may not accept it, or it, maybe they will stimulate it. Maybe they can, you know. Uh, see, you have to understand a higher level of function is not necessarily good. You could you could become you know because you know. You could develop a schizophrenia. You could be develop. You, 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 your mind could go completely. Anything too much of anything is not good. Fair. Okay. So uh, that's why you don't want to play around with that. You know. Sure. So, so our Did principle is yeah. But it's it's. A, we've had people come to us. <laughs> Where people actually come to us and say exactly this: I want my child to come first. Give him stem cells. Yeah. Till this point, I was visualizing that whole Captain America scene. You know, where he yeah. goes in as a skinny guy and comes out yeah. jacked. Yeah. So <laughs> theoretically, yes, that's possible, but we wouldn't do it. I would not do it. I would not encourage it. And uh, at this stage, especially okay. when when technology is new, I'm sure once it gets established, uh, like every good thing gets misused, and there will be people who will find a way around this. So damn. When when that happens, that happens. So these are playlists made especially for you. We've tailor-made learning experiences for you. The RS Clips.